Uh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today we're going over a little success nugget from none other than Diplo. Subscribe if you haven't already, but other than that, let's get to it. Like I said, I never chased to be a big producer. I never chased what was happening. I think that as a producer, I've always been the one to try to set trends. Like I've always been one to say, let's do this because everybody else is doing that. So let's unpack what this man just said. Biggest point is that Diplo continuously evolves very quickly and that's how he remains a trendsetter after success after success after success. Why? Because most people ride the wave and not that Diplo doesn't ride the wave because they tell you to do that for success and it can lead you to the top. But what Diplo does a lot differently than others is, I'll have to put like a picture up here, is Diplo will ride the wave to a certain point and even though he might be the one leading the wave, he will hop off and find the next trend. Diplo is very clear on and adamant about the fact of not really getting lost in the sauce in, in his own success. When people go right, he goes left. When people goes left, he goes right. So he can catch that new wave and then create that next sound and always stand out. He wants to surprise people with a new sound because that's more so his brand than having a distinct sound. So what does that mean for a newer artist or somebody who just hasn't popped yet? Well, I always hear, man, we're oversaturated with this sound or these type of lyrics or these type of songs, but there's market moves in cycles. So. If you go left when everybody else is going right, understand that, yes, you're not on Diplo stage, so you're not gonna probably be able to hop to the next wave and ride it up as fast as possible, but go left and wait that time out because when you do get to the top, when that wave does get to the top, you'll be there riding that wave. And once you get to that certain point in the wave, then you can make whatever kind of decisions you want. You can be one of those artists that keep going with the wave and love it and that's just your sound. You want to stick with it forever or you can evolve really quickly like Diplo. Take the nugget and do as you please because that's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. When we think about big records, a lot of producers are thinking how to make it as standard as possible. I think those days are gone. I think it's, you have to surprise the audience in 2015 or 2016. You have to give something that you haven't heard before. If there's a signature Diplo sound, it's just something that's hopefully un, you know, eclectic and just strange to your ears at first. If I had a signature sound, I think that'd be like my, that'd be like the end of me. 